Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss another variant of uh, salivary gland tumor. And uh, at the end, we will give a summary of all uh, salivary gland tumor along with the MCQs. In the last few weeks, we are continuously discussing different types of the salivary gland tumor. We have discussed in detail pleomorphic adenoma, mucoepidermite carcinoma, monomorphic adenoma, and adenoid cystic carcinoma. Uh, some few variants uh, uh, are there, and uh, today we will complete all these discussions. So, uh, acinic carcinoma, uh, another name is acinic adenocarcinoma. And it has it's so many other histological variants. And the diagnosis is very important for because uh, treatment is different and prognosis is different. So uh, let's see uh, different uh, scenarios. Scenario number one, a 40 year female uh, presented with a left sided parotid mass and uh, it was painless and slow growing tumor. Uh, if you see this picture, this logical examination of the picture reveals uh, tumor cells are in sheets, there are microcysts, and these are cards, these are papillary structures, these are hemorrhagic. The tumor cells are. Uh, star-like pictures, uh, like drizzling of the uh, rainy rain stops, and the tumor cells are invading the fat. So it means if we keep understanding, keep concentrating on the tumor, it is not benign tumor because it is showing infiltration. It is. Uh, at somewhat uh, 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 fibrocollagenous stroma and uh, uh, cellularity, and uh, this picture is uh, not troublesome. Uh, but uh, uh, pictures showing that it is malignant. It is not adenoid looking, but confusing mucoepidermite, let's see the higher pictures, papillary structures, stock is there, pleomorphic cells, evacuated cells with small microcysts, pods of cells are there, hemorrhages, cells are connected with each other, loss of no distinct border of each uh, Cells, cells are uh, uh, present against muc uh, eosinophilic background. The cells have abundant cytoplasm. Binucleations are there. So let's see the more higher pictures. This is vaculation. Uh, Some are clear cells. These are microcysts and uh, this is the binucleations and uh, eosinophilic cytoplasm there. So uh, one by one cells, so larger cells, uh, granular cytoplasm, even you see concentrate on the nucleus, nucleoli are there. And if you see this binucleation, you can see the vaculations there. This is the vaculated area cells. So if we strain with PES and PST, you can see zymogenic cytoplasmic granules there. It's another picture. So let's see what is this uh, picture. So another beautiful view of the Neelum Valley. Uh, definition of the uh, acinic cell carcinoma. It is a low uh, to intermediate grade epithelial neoplasm of a salivary gland characterized by 
serous acinar cell differentiation cytoplasms with cymogenic granules abundant cytoplasms in at least some of the uh, neoplastic cells most commonly arise from the parotid because the parotid is predominantly it does not mean that it arises in the minor salivary glands of the lips oral cavity but predominantly serous glands parotid glands are there acinic cell carcinoma or adenocarcinoma according to the rams and coworkers concluded uh low rate uh, with cymogenic granules with pas and pst 17% of the family salivary glands malignancy 6% overall uh, salivary glands neoplasms let's see uh, assessment of uh, your previous two slides acinic cell adenocarcinoma is a salivary gland malignancy with cells that show sebaceous differentiations with cell that show the sebaceous differentiations with cell shows the mucinous cell differentiation with cell that show acinar and mucinous mixed differentiations and the cells with the squamous cell carcinomas we have given the answer in previous two pictures but any of the reply the answer is the b that's another scenario uh, i will advise the students to concentrate to listen each slide carefully because at the end of the each slide there is a scenario and the examinations this is uh, different define definition of the cytoplasm differentiation towards c serous cellulose that may be characterized these zymogenic granules or the pas positive they may be past negative they may be negative for the low and high molecular weight different type of the cytokeratin 8 18 specially they may be positive for the cytoplasmic cytokeratin 7 19 20 20 typically positive and they may be negative for the features of cytoplasmic granules negative let's see one by one concentrate the exam the answer is there it is also positive p is positive p is positive uh uh dash is resistant t is also positive it is not negative it is positive for low and high molecular weight especially for the cytokeratin 8 and 18 c is negative so and it is not positive cytokeratin 7 19 20 is not positive salivary gland and uh, cytoplasmic granules are positive so the reply is a so what is the histogenic theory from where it arises according to different researchers it arises from the uh, reserve cells stem cell which is present in intercalated ductal regions of the terminal tubulo terminal salivary glands so what is the clinical features more and it's middle age it's in the more in the females it is not exclusive but predominant present in cervical glands uh, maybe i as i have told you other areas of the minor cervical glands buccal lips regions and uh, variable durations asymptomatic painless symptoms of the facial nerves maybe weakens when the cells tumor size is enlarged bilateral tumor can be seen in some cases this is the buccal area well circumscribed angry looking mass but no necrosis uh isnic uh, on the hard palate if the cross uh, pectures is about 2 to 3 cm in diameter uh usually it is uh, single focus maybe multi nodular may be there the grayish white as i have shown you in the pictures may be reddish when 
the size has increased. Usually solid but cystic and microcystic variants. Consistency depends upon the solid uh, predominance or cystic predominance areas are here. So this is the sections through a superficial paradectomy reveals sharply. If you cut the section, you will see the cystic appearance. This is the mixture. If you cut the pictures, whitish grayish picture, this is the cystic area present. So histopathology, as we have discussed, and high power views encapsulated uh, characteristic cytoplasmic physiophilic granules, depending upon the grades, the mitotic may or may not be there. So four to five pictures, solid microcyst, capillary, cystic, follicular region sometimes may confuse the metastasis from the thyroid, especially when it is in the uh, submandibular. Another important feature is, each histological feature is the predominant lymphoid infiltration may be present, tumor associated. This also depends, this also is associated with uh, prognosis of the patient. The lymphocyte infiltration has a good uh, prognosis and lymphocyte may be diffuse, may be focal, may be terminal centers. So this is the picture. Uh, granular cytoplasm, microcysts, follicular variants, some oncocytic way, uh, cells are there, prominent basophilic cells. This picture was taken from the Ackerman. A high power view, you can see the basophilic granules of the cytoplasm. Uh, this is the low grade tumor and uh, Starry pictures, uh, abandoned cytoplasm, and uh, uh, granular cytoplasm, which are positive for the PES and PSTs and the granules. This is difficult pictures. Uh, also, uh, cyst, microcyst, hemorrhagic area, but among the cysts, you can appreciate the picture. But this picture can you confuse your adenoid cystic. If you see this lower area, this is basophilic like pictures and cyst area. So let's see, do some uh, cytoplasmic granules, PASP, we can exclude the. This is uh, tumor with uh, lymphocyte infiltrations. Another beautiful marker is NR4A2. This is the nucleus strains. This is the uh, positive in this tumor indicate this is negative in other pictures. Differential diagnosis uh, because uh, the cells are smaller than looking can confuse with normal cellular glands. When lymphocyte can confuse you, the sialadenitis and sialadenosis. Mucopidermide carcinoma in picture one was confusing. Adenite cystic carcinoma sometimes. Papillary. Cyst adenoma can be confused, clear cell and cyst carcinoma can be confused. Treatment, uh, surgical treatment, complete axion, and you have to preserve the facial nerve. It is very important. Uh, lymph, node, lymph node dissection, extension, metastasis, local is there. Prognosis depends upon the grades, but when high grade, the prognosis is poor and low grade, it's its prognosis is better as compared to mucoid epidermide and adenoid cystic carcinoma. It is the another second most common tumor in the children's age. Uh, Acinic carcinoma arises from the cervical gland. Which of the following below statement is correct? This uh, statement is also given in the previous slide. You can search the key of this. Uh, MCQ in my previous slides. So tumor approximately six to eight percent of our cellular gland tumors, and about ten to seventeen percent of the primary cell malignancies. Neoplastic cells are positive for pan carotene. 
talk one talks pst um, favorable prognosis we have also with low uh, recurrence distance metastasis high grade transformation is there all of the above you have to search go back and search the answer of this questions so the prognosis of the patient is depends five year prognosis is good uh, 5 to 7 97% may recur metastasis may occur local recurrence is possible adverse prognosis depends few, few features male bad prognosis as compared to the female greater than 40 years older age group poor prognosis if the size is greater than size poor prognosis distance metastasis has a poor prognosis for tumor cell necrosis is poor prognosis pleomorphism is poor prognosis mitosis uh, greater than the 2 per 10 high power is poor prognosis and if the proliferative index is high it is poor prognosis high grade tumor transformation so poor prognosis vascular perinuclear usually not seen but if it is seen it has a poor prognosis extraction of the capsule depends upon poor prognosis if it is uh, invading the surrounding tissue it is poor prognosis even for the bone skull jaw poor prognosis if no lymphocytic infiltration in the stoma as i have discussed the poor prognosis let's see another mcq question which of the following statement is true regarding the ischemic cell carcinoma of the cell defect tumor ischemic cell carcinoma is a high grade malignancy nucleus most common occur in the minor cerebral gland tumor young age at presentation and presence of the tumor associated with the lymphocytes are associated with the poor prognosis uh my all the answer is present in previous slides neoplastic cell express dog one socks to and tumor cell is uh, is so another mcq question a 51 years old woman present at the left parotid an excisional biopsy is performed a neoplastic cells are positive for pas which of the following are correct pain and facial nerve dysfunction are uncommon presenting symptoms mitosis necrosis and significant pmas are present in the mib amino histochemistry stains in fnc specific is useful in the diagnostic tumor cytological aspirate of the tumor can show predominance of extracellular lesion let's see go back my pick my my lecture and facial which is this one pain and facial nerves dysfunctions are uncommon presentations mitosis necrosis mib uh, immuno histochemistry staining is fnc specimen is used for diagnostic it is you to go back and to which one is more present this one six one oncocytic oncocytoma almost usually occur in parotid salivary glands subliquel submandibular accessory glands and palates mcq7 a female patient's biopsy turn in turn is to pathology was ischemic cell carcinoma this ischemic cell carcinoma of the gland arise most commonly in the parotid salivary glands minor salivary glands sub mandibular salivary gland sub lingual sandy all so if you concentrate on the lecture you can easily find the answer a another mcq questions most common malignant tumor of the cervix brain in adults and children is snake carcinoma or not carcinoma mix parotid low no doubt most common malignancy of cervix brain in adults and children if you exclude a then it is b because 
both are sometimes present. Another MC question, which is the novel specific marker for the diagnosis of the ischemic cell plasma? Calponin, P63, actin, novel, mammoglobin, and I have given the answer it is E. Sally, what is the about FNSC is a very, very important tool, diagnostic tool, cheapest tool, cost effective in the diagnosis of tumor. And according to the Milan classification, they have improved the prognosis of the patients. And with the help of the immunohistochemistry, uh, uh, they have made very useful for the prognosis of the patients and molecular testing can be done on the final respirations. But the material should be adequate. The FNAC technician and technologists, doctors should expert in may, doing the FNAC. Any cell study is important. This is, that is uh, very important. You can uh, liquid base uh, cytology, you can make smear, cell bar, blocks, or you can make the hair fish. These are the ancillary study that you can help, take the help in the diagnosis of these tumors through the FNSC by making uh, cell blocks and this next generation sequencing is very important. Increasing availability of the molecular material uh, of the cell reclaim tumor. Uh, uh, these markers are very important in helping this tumor of the. So, this is the justice, very beautiful summary uh, for memory analog secretory tumor. To have translocation. We have already discussed this one in the previous lectures. ETV6, NTRK3 are translocation of 12 and 15. For pleomorphic adenoma, the translocation of 3, and that is called plague, or it is called H, HMGA2 arrangement. Clear cell carcinoma and uh, EWSR1 and ATF1 translocation. These translocations are very important in making the differential diagnosis of these tumors. In cribriform adenocarcinoma, adenoid cystic carcinoma, PR, KDR regimen is very important. Overexpression of this cribriform, PRK. And adenoid cystic simple MIB1 and FIP is very important translocations. I have confused this MIB1 in MCQ question that is negative in the ischemic cell carcinoma. Basal cell monomorphic adenoma, we have already discussed. CTNNB1 mutation is very important. This one. So, immunohistochemistry part uh, of pleomorphic adenoma. This is we have given. This is uh, the marker that uh, you can take the help I have given in the detail. Cytokeratine 7, CEA, EMA, SOX2, myopithelial marker, smooth muscle, halconin is not present in the SNF carcinoma, ascended protein, cytokeratine 5-6, P63, GF, AP. So another pleomorphic build this translocation. This can come in MCQ questions for not only for the uh, undergraduate students, but also postgraduate students. These are commonly present in this one. Uh, plague one rearrangement. Uh, many times we discussed and HMAG region present. This is the uh, region where the translation, Z and finger region translocation I have discussed. 
So the immunous adenoid carcinoma, was once again the summary, uh, positive cytokeratin CEA mass, calponin, ascended protein, P53, cytokeratin 5-6, SOX may be positive, CD117, it is positive, may be positive, cytogenetic translocations may be on the six, nine is more specific and transcriptional factor in the tumors. Salivary adenoid carcinoma of fish is helping. Uh, this is the, this, what is the basal cell adenoma? Once again, I, uh, summary of this few cytokeratin, few, uh, uh, myoepithelial marker as per present, a uh, few uh, beta catenin. Uh, we have discussed this one. Immunistic and memory analog carcinoma, positive for S114, mammoglobin, cytokeratin 7, 8, 19. They are not present. I have given in the SNX cell. Carcinoma MCQ, it is not negative in them. EMA is positive, GF8 is positive. GCDFP is positive, MAC1, MAC4 is positive. Negative for myoepithelial marker P63. The students should learn all these marker for their MCQ question, for their bio questions. Adding uh, uh, androgens and talk may be possible, but not helpful in this one. SOX in different uh, area. SOX 10, which tumor of the cervical glands are positive? Positive in ethnic, depending in category size. Adenite cystic carcinoma, epithelial carcinoma, myoepithelial carcinoma, pneumococcal carcinoma, negative in salivary talk carcinoma, mucopidermide carcinoma, anthocytoma, and warden tumors. Immunohistochemistry of mucopidermide carcinoma, positive for cytokeratin 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, EMA, CEA, more specific I have made, told negative for smooth muscle actin, calponin, S100 protein, SOX10, positive for translocation of this translocation. This last is very important for the MCQ questions. What is the take home message for, uh, we have discussed here, concluding the message. Cerevi gland cytology presents many diagnostic challenges. The Milan system for reporting salivary gland cytopathology will help to produce a more uniform diagnostic structure, improve communication between treating clinicians and pathologists. This pathologist that is the improved patients care availability of the immunohistochemistry and molecular marker scan greatly improve the accuracy of the salivary glands. So this is the cream of the Pakistani histopathologist pathologist in uh, AFIP on a tab. Best wishes. Thank you so much for hearing me, tolerating me, and uh, uh, I will ask all of you to concentrate listen all of my lectures one by one and if you want to put any questions under the uh, answer and question column i would love to give the reply of your question you can even send me the emails ask me the questions we are trying to improve our lectures we are now going to put my lectures our lectures all the pathology lectures Ackermans, all other PDF books in a learning management system. Very soon we will 
uh, announce our will be almost free uh, in the beginning in their seat then how much will be the maintenance charges then we will at the end we will invite all other pathologists professors teachers to come forward to help their students to help their postgraduate students in the histopathology microbiology hematology chemical pathology molecular pathology and of course thank you so much once again best regard and best wishes